What can you tell us about the scene there now today? Well, uh, ma amazing turnout. Even though it was rainy, it was a tough day to be out there. Uh, but we're expecting a record turnout uh, uh, with uh, an hour to go, actually, uh, at 7, 7 p.m., an hour before the polls closed. Uh, they were looking at 75 to 80 percent turnout, so significant, a uh, lot of interest. Uh, and as we, as you noted, the exit polls just came out, and they noted uh, that uh, Moon Jae-in was leading uh, by with 41 percent. Uh, second was around 23 uh, percent. And we have live pictures right now. I was told it was Parliament Square. I'm not sure if that's right, but that's what we're seeing live picture from Seoul right now. So tell us about, a little bit about Moon Jae-in if we haven't been following closely. Uh, particularly, we're concerned about North Korea here. He seems to be a little bit more accommodating to North Korea than perhaps his predecessor. Right. He has uh, definitely uh, been less of a hardliner toward North Korea. He has been more conciliatory, and he has talked about uh, engaging in dialogue with North Korea. Obviously, he has uh, uh, put, you know, in, uh, pl placed some caveats, including some conditions that have to be met. But he has been definitely more open uh, to uh, resume uh, what, uh, what his predecessor mentors have done, uh, which was something called the Sunshine Policy. It did not work at that time, but uh, he may be reinstituting that, uh, that policy. Um, and so the, uh, that's, that was a campaign issue, but uh, you know, that seems to have uh, appealed to the younger generation uh, that don't remember the Korean War or the, the animosity with North Korea.